Imagine descending into the cold, shadowed waters off the coast of Japan, where sunlight fades into a mysterious twilight zone. Here, in the silent depths, between 160 and 2,000 feet below the surface, an ancient giant lurks, a creature that seems almost impossible, more myth than reality. The Japanese spider crab, the largest arthropod on Earth, stretches its spindly legs to a span of nearly 12 feet, wider than the height of most men, longer than the doors we walk through each day. Its body, though comparatively small at about 15 inches wide, is armored in a mottled shell that hints at millions of years of survival in a world few humans have ever witnessed. This is not just a crab, it is a living relic. For generations, the Japanese spider crab has crawled along the ocean floor, its existence quietly threading through the fabric of time. Some individuals have been known to live up to a century, enduring the shifting tides and changing climates that have claimed countless other species. To encounter one is to glimpse a kind of living history, a creature whose ancestors walked these same waters long before the first humans set foot on the Japanese islands. Despite their intimidating size, Japanese spider crabs are, in truth, gentle giants. Their massive claws, which could easily span the width of a dining table, are used not for hunting, but for scavenging. They move slowly, methodically, picking through the sand and rocks for bits of decaying plant and animal matter. In this way, they play a crucial role in their ecosystem, quietly cleaning the ocean floor and recycling nutrients back into the environment. Yet their size belies a surprising vulnerability. Like all crustaceans, spider crabs must molt their shells to grow, a process that leaves them exposed and defenseless. During these times, the ocean's gentle giant becomes a target. Predators, sensing the opportunity, move in. The crab's only defense is to hide among rocks and crevices, waiting for its new shell to harden. Survival, for a creature so large, depends on patience and luck. A closer look reveals a dramatic difference between the sexes. Males with legs stretching up to 13 feet from claw to claw dwarf the females. This size advantage is thought to aid in protecting themselves and their territory. But it also makes the males more susceptible to fishing nets and traps. Over centuries, local fishermen have prized the spider crab for its succulent meat, considering it a delicacy. In traditional Japanese culture, the arrival of spider crab season is celebrated, drawing families and communities together over steaming pots of crab stew. But the appetite for these ocean giants has come at a price. Overfishing, combined with habitat degradation, has led to a sharp decline in spider crab populations. Conservationists now sound the alarm, warning that without careful management, the world's largest arthropod may vanish from Japan's waters forever. Research teams equipped with submersibles and remote cameras have begun to study the crab's habits, migrations, and breeding patterns, hoping to unlock secrets that might ensure their survival. Every encounter with a Japanese spider crab is a reminder of the ocean's power to astonish. In the deep, where mystery reigns and life exists on the edge of possibility, we find creatures that challenge our understanding, forcing us to reimagine what is possible. The spider crab, with its impossibly long limbs and ancient lineage, stands as a testament to the unexplored wonders that still wait in the world's last true wilderness. To know it is to accept that for all our science, all our exploration, the ocean still holds secrets deeper and stranger than we can imagine. And somewhere beneath the waves, the gentle giants continue their silent, slow march across the sands of time.